which CNN has exclusively obtained copies of secret agreements among Gulf nations that may explain how the nations in that part of the world got to where they are right now. Let's bring in our chief national security correspondent, Jim Shudo. He's got this exclusive information for us. Jim, tell our viewers what you've learned. Thanks very much, Wolf. And in fact, I have the agreements here, some of which are handwritten. CNN has learned that Qatar made a series of secret agreements with its Gulf neighbors in 2013 and 2014, barring support for opposition and hostile groups in those nations, as well as in Egypt and Yemen. This according to the copies of these agreements obtained exclusively by CNN. Now, the existence of these agreements has been known, but both the content and the documents themselves were kept secret due to the sensitivity of the issues involved and the fact that they were agreed in private by heads of state. Now, the agreements you're seeing here, the first of which was handwritten, signed by the King of Saudi Arabia, the Emir of Qatar, and the Emir of Kuwait, were obtained by CNN from a source from the region with access to the documents. A second agreement, dated in 2014, headlined Top Secret, adds the King of Bahrain, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, and the Prime Minister of the UAE. Now, the Gulf countries have accused Qatar of not complying with the two agreements, which helps explain what sparked the worst diplomatic crisis in the Middle East, really, in decades. Abiding by the agreements was among six principles the Gulf nations set as requirements to uh, improve relations with Qatar in a statement released last week. In a statement to CNN, Qatar accused Saudi Arabia and UAE of breaking the spirit of the agreement and indulging in, quote, an unprovoked attack on Qatar's sovereignty. 